Are we the cause of division in our families, in our offices, in our community? Division is always the work of the evil one. That is why wherever there is division, the devil is always there. So the evil spirit always causes division through distortion, through lies, through half-truths, confusing our minds. And the sin of division comes about through basically three areas. One is selfishness, self-centeredness. So when we are selfish, when we are more concerned about our interests, when we are inward-looking, uh, we cause division. There is always the importance, the necessity of looking out for the interests of others, and not just our own interests. We have to be very careful that we don't fall into legalism. The laws are important. The laws can be a cause of unity. But laws are made for men, not men for the laws. So the laws can be flexible so long as we keep the spirit of the law. And we need to apply the laws uh, in a judicious manner. But when we apply the laws rigidly and blindly, we also divide the community. It is the spirit of the law that is important. Our own pride, the spiritual pride, intellectual pride is always again the cause of disunity. I mean, at the end of the day, it is to build community. At the end of the day, it is for the benefit of everyone. The question of uh, community is very important. That is why we must always do things in consensus. Anyone who causes division in a community, you are working against the Lord. And so this is where we need to pray for humility. Unity is of great importance. We need to protect unity at all costs. We need always to pray so that the community can be more protected from the temptations of the evil one.